This tutorial will show you how to use the TouchLink system in a connected classroom. At the instructor podium, use the TouchLink to turn on the display and choose the PC as your source. On the PC, you can sign in with your SDSU ID name and password. Then you can launch the Zoom application from the shortcut icon on the desktop. Click the Sign In button and be sure to choose the option to sign in with SSO. The company domain is SDSU, and when you continue, you'll be prompted to log in with your SDSU ID credentials. I'm already logged in, so I can launch the Zoom application. Once you're in the Zoom application, you can launch a meeting that you've previously scheduled by going to your Meetings tab. Or you could also launch a new meeting, which I will do now. Be sure to join with computer audio when prompted. And taking a look at your camera settings, please select the USB Capture SDI option. And for your speaker and microphone settings, select Extron HDMI as your speaker and Collaborate Versa USB as your microphone. Depending on the type of microphone installed in your classroom, another option you might select would be the USB Capture SDI Line-In option. If you are unsure which microphone to select, please refer to the job aid mounted on the wall next to the instructor podium. If you would like to record this session for your students to view later, click the Record button and choose Record to the Cloud. You can share your screen and choose an option, for example, the browser window to be able to go to any website and share that with your attendees. The Connected Classroom also allows you to share the document camera in Zoom. Click Share Screen and then choose the Advanced tab. Here, select Content from Second Camera. Once you've selected that, click the Share button and as you can see, the document camera is now the source in Zoom. You may place objects on the whiteboard surface as you normally would. To adjust your document camera controls, go to the touch link and hit the dock cam button. You will be asked if you would like to use the document camera with Zoom. Click Yes, and the secondary menu will come up showing you all of your document camera controls. You can choose Zooming In, You could zoom out, and you can also choose to use one of the presets. Once you are done with the document camera controls, you can hit the close button to get back to the touch link menu. When you are done in Zoom, you can stop the share, then stop your recording, and it will let you know that you will receive an email notification when your cloud recording is ready. You can end your meeting, close out of your applications, and be sure to sign out of the computer.